world, Michael Holman here, KurtzClocks.com. Want to take a chance to show you my lamppost clock repair skills. Uh, we're talking about these two beauties right here in the middle. One's a 1961, one's a 1962. Um, they both belong to a friend of mine, so they are not for sale. But uh, I have the skills necessary to make them run again. And I also have access to the parts, which is just as important because these antiques are, uh, well, let's say becoming less frequent and the uh, parts are harder to come by. I have quite a few parts here at home, um, and I also have access to no, new old stock parts for these clocks. Um, the black one's a 61, the gold one's a 62. The black one just needed a you know, a little TLC, cleaning, oiling, and, uh, you know, just the adjustments. Um, the gold one was missing quite a few parts, and I put them all back together. Um, you see here that, that this black one has a chip missing out of its sign there. That's pretty common, and I do have brand new signs new old stock signs without any scratches or anything like that that we can slap on yours if you so choose um, this person decided not to go with that at this moment um, he had you know money in the in these for me already and he decided that maybe later he would do that um, both of these are just time movements you know they just have the time they aren't ones with the um, alarm function but uh, nevertheless we can do those as well um, the gold one needed a new mainspring what else did it need a new mainspring it was missing the um, brass bell screws for the back um, some other minor parts for it too um, we're waiting on a dial for my atmos clock there on the right to get finished and once that's finished that will be ready to rock and roll so that's why it looks like that um, yeah just wanted to make a video, let you guys know that I can fix these if you want to ship them to me. Um, get your antiques running again. Um, I ask, you know, $350 for the service on these. Parts would be extra. Um, if there's anything, you know, if I find anything broken inside of it, I call you and make sure that, that uh, you're okay with me um, fixing it or replacing it and let you know what the price would be ahead of time so there isn't any surprise or anything. And um, communication is key. So, um, yeah, that's the video. These are the lamppost clocks. Um, pretty standard. One thing about them is you always want to make sure that you only r set the hands by moving clockwise. You never want to go backwards on those. Um, you can bend and break things doing that. And, yeah, they're pretty iconic, pretty cool little clocks. Um... In, they're eight days, eight day movements, but you know you wind it once a week, and you can see they're both keeping good time now, and they're all on the same page. So um, that's the video. I'll put a link below for the website www.kurtzclocks.com, um, and I'll I'll even link it to the lamppost clock repair page. And thank you for your views, and don't hesitate to leave any comments or questions or anything below, and. Please like videos, share videos, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.